everyone, it's Amy from Samy Sweet Life, and today I'm going to do a book faves slash emerging reader video. I just want to walk through some of the books that Olivia has liked over basically this past year and a half to two year time frame. I haven't done one of the book faves for her in a long time because it's really a repeat of the same books. We've added a few here and there, but the main thing that has changed is instead of us reading her the book faves, she is now reading them to us. So she is definitely full on reading at this point. So I'm gonna walk through the beginner reading books that we use and I don't have any like magic tips and secrets or anything. She was at a Montessori school and the teacher taught her to read. It was not really me. It was totally her preschool teacher who taught her to read. She did enter kindergarten completely reading and she has progressed since then to where she's not just reading the beginner book, she's picking up any old book you know, kid book and reading most of the words. We have to help her with words here and there, but she has really, really surprised me how well she has gone this last year. It was her kindergarten year, so she's gonna be moving into first grade after the summer. She's just a full-fledged reader, so I do have a couple of her book faves in here, and mostly it's just talking about how we progressed through the beginner learning to read, teaching her to read, on through to being a reader now. So. First up, we ended up using sight word flashcards with her. She learned her alphabet backwards and forwards, the sounds of them, the letters of them, capitals, lowercase, all that stuff pretty early on. She was just really interested in it when we read a book called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, which is a very popular book. There's a page in the back of our board book version that has all of the alphabets, uppercase and lowercase, in like a rainbow coloration, and she just really liked that page and after a while I realized she was paying attention to the letters. She would like point to them, I'd tell her what they were and then after a while I would say something like where's the A and she could point to the A. Where's the F? She could point to the F. So I knew she knew the alphabet at that point and this was early on way before she was verbal. She knew the alphabet and then we talked about little A versus big A and so pretty early on she knew all the letters and then we started doing sight words a little bit where it's just basically memorization. You just get the sight word flashcards, you get memorize those and she loved it. It was a fun game for her. So we got a big set. I'll link it down below, of course, but I'll try to insert a picture here. And it's a set like preschool all the way to I think third grade or so. And she blasted through those. It took, you know, months of us practicing them on and off. She'd be really interested in them. Sometimes we'd put them away for a while and she wouldn't be interested in a while. And I really just followed her lead. What she wanted to do is what we did. I didn't make it something to where it wasn't gonna be fun and exciting. I didn't wanna push it on her. And because she was so interested in it, it's something that we just kept working with. So she got really, really good at the basic sight words for like preschool and kindergarten early, early on. And then that made reading tiny books really easy. So we started out with some Bob books. I have two sets of these. I have set one and set two. And these books are super basic. They can sound out any of the words in these books. Let's see, some of them, like they go in order. Set two, book seven set to book 12. So they all in like a different order. So these are a little bit more advanced ones because it is set to, but they're words that the kids can sound out if they know the phonics of the words. So actually going back to flashcards, we had the letter flashcards and like on one side it would say the letter and then on the other side it would use the letter in a word. So you're showing them the letter and they're supposed to say like for you, it would be a. Uh. And then the word on the back could be something like bus or cup, like how you're using it in a sentence. So she really, really liked those. Our little letter flashcards also had combination sounds. So it'd have like a CH and then it would have a word that goes with CH. And like CK, it would have a word, that, that word I remember is duck. So you'd hear the sound used in a word. And so it really helped her visualize and sound out these sounds. So when we pulled out the Bob books, they were super simple. Now this is the set too, so it's a little bit more advanced, a little bit more words on a page, but they're very simple words like go. If she knows the sound for G, ga, and she knows the sound for O, sometimes you say ah, but O is a long O for that. She can sound out the word go. Same with bus. Like that's individually three sounds that she would know because she knows the letter sounds. So she could add them up and say bus. So it would take her a while to do these, and this was preschool, she was doing these, um, but she would figure it out. So we ended up going through the first set of books onto the second set of books. The bus did not stop. <laughs> like They're very simple words, simple pictures, and she really enjoyed these. So she would just pull these out and we would play, play with the books, play read, and I say they're really, really good sets to get. Um, they do have more than just the two sets, but those are the two that we ended up having. Just set one and set two, and those were really, really helpful. And then going along with that, they also have all sorts of different 
like characters, if your kids like a certain type of character. She happened to like Pete the Cat, so I ended up seeing this I Can Read Phonics Pete the Cat, and it's the same style of thing, but I feel like this one's a little bit more advanced than the Bob books. And again, it's like these bite-sized pieces that go in an order. And with these ones, they concentrate on one sound, like this is the short E sound. So it will walk you through. These ones are like full on stories. So it was a little bit harder at first for her to get these ones because it does include a lot more words, but it says the short E sound, like F for bed. So it'd be like showing you all the words, bed, bed, best, and then some more sight words that she would already know at this point. So we'd walk through them and she would just blast through these basic sight words. And then it says, here are some fun Pete the Cat words. So these are like bigger words that she hadn't been exposed to reading herself. Like the word sleepover, that's a big word for a, at this point, a, an emerging into kindergarten kid. Um, so we had fun with these. We would read these like one a night or so. And she really liked those. We also have a couple of different other sets of these. And then I also got these seasons of sight words books. So it's just reinforcing those sight words. And these ones have the sight words on the front. Let every not and see. Um, so these ones are just different seasons. We ended up with the fall and the spring of these and we would just like read one a day and practice together. And she ended up getting these to where we would cycle through all of these Bob books and phonics books again and she would have them down after a while. She'd be able to sound out all the words and read all the sight words in these books. So these were really, really nice sets to have. We do have other ones. I think we have a Peppa Pig set of these and I just think that's a great, great place to start, especially the Bob books that are super duper basic and easy for kids to read. We were reading other things like together and also she was helping a little bit here and there. I would like read a book and point to a sight word and say, okay, it's your turn to read this word and she would read that word and make it like a game and fun for her. So once we got through, like she knew these phonics ones super easy. They were too easy for her at this point. We moved on to having her read with us like she would read a page or a couple of lines and then we would read a page or a couple of lines and go back and forth. One of the best books for this, I feel like, are Dr. Seuss books. Just these very simple ones. Um, Fox in Socks, Green Eggs and Ham. Also, One Fish, Two Fish is a great one. They just have a lot of simple, rhymy, easy words. Um, Ten Apples Up on Top is another one. So we would read these to her, you know, when she was littler, and then she started reading them to us or helping us read. You know, she'd read a page, we'd read a page, and it made it really fun. Also, Cat in the Hat and also Cat in the Hat comes back. They're all ones that she just started really getting into and going along with like the same easy style. We have a couple of these like Pug in a Bug. This one's called Dog on a Frog. Just anything that's like a, a rhymy, sing-songy one. It makes it easy if she knows the word dog, she can say the word frog. So these ones are really great ones too to start with because the words go together and it makes it easier for them to figure out some of the words. So she she got these down pat pretty well. We also had another kind of book. There's various different titles of these ones. There's the ready to read books and also the I can read books. And these are like brand name things. You can get them in all sorts of like different characters and things, um, different series like Amelia Bedelia. Um, they also have like little critter ones of these, pretty much like any character. If they're excited about Dr. Seuss characters, um, some superhero ones. Pretty sure they're even like Disney themed type ones too, but they're just the same brand, like ready to read, I can read. And there's one that's called You Read, I Read. We have a discovery book like that. So they start out with, you know, level one and then they can move on to level two and three and so on. So these ones are good. The words are big. There's not a whole lot of words on a page so they can figure it out. And they're just, you know, very simple. These are also great ones to add in once they conquer like the basic Bob book style books. And also going along with that, we have some of these like collection books. We ended up getting these ones at Kohl's. They were just in the Kohl's Cares section, but there are three books in each. And again, it's that same I can read. It's my first shared reading. So at some point she was able to read these all on her own, but this one's pretty simple, like very repetitive, not very word heavy pages. And they're great for beginning reading when they're like trying to track with their fingers. It makes it so easy for them to feel like they can do it themselves. Let's talk about, since she is a reader now, she basically will read any of the kid books that we have. I haven't really bought a whole lot of books lately because the books are now like new again because she can read them herself. She doesn't have to bring them to us and have us read them to her. So I do have some of her 
actual book favorites here. Dr. Seuss is definitely still a favorite. She loves Dr. Seuss of all kinds. And we ended up getting this one a really long time ago, the classic fairy tales collection. She really likes this one and she will read this one cover to cover some days. And she'll tell me, I read the whole book because she thinks it's like a chapter book since it's different stories. So this is a big book fave for us. Yeah, this was also a Kolskier's book, I just realized on the back. So I'm sure you can find something very similar to this. We also have a Grimm's fairy tale I think we got from Usborne, which is the same kind of thing, like multiple stories in one book. And she just starts reading it and keeps going as long as she wants. And then another book fave are the Judy B. Jones books. I think it was for Christmas. Her teacher gave us a Junie B. Jones book when she was in preschool. So this is when she's like learning to read. And Olivia brought it home and she said, this is for me to read one chapter per night. And I was like, wait, she wants you to read this book? I'm trying to pull one of these out. This pack is a new pack. Gotten a bunch of these from one of our neighbor friends and I also had bought a few sets. So I have a couple of sets that are actually, I think duplicates of what we already have. Um, but she brought her the book one of this and she said, my teacher says I need to read one of these chapters every night. And I went through and we read one of the chapters together. This was before she got really good at reading. This is back in preschool when she's like starting out reading, but I didn't think she'd be ready for like a full on chapter book. And so we sat there and it was a struggle for her to like read it to us and we'd have to sound out words with her. But she was really, really into it, really liked the story, thought it was funny. And it, the first one's called Stupid Smelly Bus and stupid is the S word in this house. <laughs> so she thinks that's the really bad S word. <laughs> so she thought it was cool because I'm like, well, if you're reading, you're allowed to say it because it's in the book, you know, you can read it. And so she thought it was really cool that she got to say the word stupid because she was reading. Slowly went through the Junie B book and I did end up writing to the teacher. I was like, you know, it was really hard for her to read that whole chapter last night. Are you sure this is what, you know, you're supposed to do? She's like, I just got it for her and gave it to her because she's starting to read and I wanted to kind of like inspire her to read, but she didn't give us any assignments. So <laughs> after that, we took it a little bit slower and I ended up basically with all the Junie B. Jones books and she loves these ones. She'll pick these ones off the shelf and read them. Now she can read them all the way through like she'll read as many chapters as she wants all the way through and every once in a while I have to help her with a word because it does have bigger words in these Junie B books but they're really really good books I would recommend them especially if your little girl likes naughty words because <laughs> she she does say stupid and a couple of other things in the books nothing nothing like past g-rated stuff but they're really good you can buy the boxed sets like this is four of the books and I think they go all the way up to like 20 something or 30 something. So there's a lot of books in here to keep their interest. Another type of book we've liked, we have a couple of these five minute story books. We've got some of these with um, the Disney and Mickey Mouse characters. We've got a little critter, the Peppa Pig. She likes these because she can again, like read it like it's a chapter book. She really, really enjoys these ones. And then a favorite that has always, always been a favorite since the beginning of starting to read with her. She loves the Mo Willems books. All of these duckling and pigeon books, the pig and elephant books, and also the Nuffle Bunny books. She just loves them. They're just super cute. And now, of course, she reads them to us. So it's really fun. She'll sit there and read this one. These ones now are pretty easy for her, actually, but she really enjoys them. She'll pull them off the shelf a lot of times as her favorite ones. And then one that I'm super excited about that she really likes, and we've read it all the way through once. I do have to help her sometimes because the words are a little bit bigger in this one, but she will also read this one on her own as well. Where the Sidewalk Ends. And this is one I loved, probably not as a kindergartner, probably a little bit older than that, but she just love, love, loves this book. So we are gonna read it through again this summer, like pick a few poems a day and just read it and I just love, love this book. There's one that's my absolute favorite poem and I still have most of it memorized from all the years. Um, Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. So that one's a cute one. But she and I read this one together sometimes. She'll pull it off the shelf and read it on her own and it's just really, really a fun one. There are other shelf Silverstein books that I plan on getting her, you know, for birthdays and things, but for now, she has a lot of books to read. It keeps her entertained enough, but this is definitely a favorite. I'm super glad. I really liked Frog and Toad, so she has a couple of those that we've read, but she doesn't seem to be into it as much as I was. Like, I loved Frog and Toad. When I was in my like early days of reading, I just loved those little chapter books. So I'm hoping that she will still like those. And same with the Little Critter books. She's starting to like those a lot more, but we have tons of those because I love those books and I hope she really ends up liking those ones too. But it's just been really fun. I don't know what reading scale it was. I'm not concerned because I know she can read really well. Um, 
it's whatever scale they're using, they are supposed to be at a level four, like on this scale before they're done with kindergarten. So at the end, they all got this little paper in their backpack the last couple of days of school. And she's supposed to be at a four minimum. She was at a 20. So she's definitely well ahead on reading. So some of these book suggestions may be a little bit tricky. If you're talking about a kindergartner or a first grader even, some of these books may be a little bit extra challenging because Olivia does read, I think, at a little bit advanced level since it's above a four. But I wanted to show you guys like from start to finish where we started, where she is currently. And I definitely need more recommendations. If you have a bigger kid, I would love to know some of your like early reader chapter books that you recommend because she's pretty much mastering the Judy B. Jones books. We have pretty much all of them and we've gone through them at least a couple of times each. We need more suggestions so I would love to know like your chapter book book series. So leave me those suggestions down below if you happen to have bigger kids and otherwise I will link to all the books that I can find for you guys in the description box. If any of them sound up your alley you can check the description box and find those and I think that's it. So I hope you guys like this video. I haven't really done a book faves in a while for Olivia because because she's just basically reading the same books now that we've always said in the book fave. So we still, she still loves Beat the Cat a lot. She still loves all the piggy and elephants. So I hope you guys like this video. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.